Welcome to another edition of 42 Straight Years In. I'm going to crack it up date. Uh, Lion Willie came over yesterday. And uh, his old lady and my old lady, they took off in the wild blue yonder. So he jumped in the car with me. Left Hills Park and we just riding around uh, downtown Dallas. And we stopped. I found a parking space. So we stopped in the West End. Me and him were just standing there talking. I seen a guy and a, and a chick walk by. Lion Willis said, say, hey, man, that's Bang Boogie. You don't remember him from Ramsey Unit? I said, no, nah, man. Lion Willis went up there and say, Bang Boogie, you don't remember me? He said, no, nah, I, I don't believe I remember you. He said, well, yeah, Lion Willis. So you don't remember this guy right here? He said, look, he, he looked familiar. He said, yeah, man, he, he's a man of, that Ramsey unit was a motherfucker, man. That unit was a motherfucker, man. I was a gangster motherfucker there, man. I whooped every motherfucker on the cell block. Can't no motherfucker over there whoop me, man. I, I was a bad son of a bitch, man. Lion Willie looked at that fool. I ain't never seen Lion Willie do no shit like this. Lion Willie looked at him and said, say, man, you was a bona fide dick sucker at Ramsey. He said, you think I don't remember you? You was on seven wing and you caught out? You got a visit, you went and told your mother so you can get moved. He said, them guys were fucking you. You know that. You was a hoe. He said, say, man, uh, uh, man, he told her, like, chick, look, woman looking at him crazy as hell. He told us, oh, he's my homeboy. That's how we play in the penitentiary. That's how we play. That's called a come on. Then he said, uh, I got my nine with me. I got my motherfucker now. That motherfucker, no, I killed motherfucker. Think I won't kill him. Lion Willie told him, Lion Willie said, I got my 40 with me. He said, you pull that nine out, I'm going to pull my dick out. He said, you going to suck my dick. Soon as you see it, you won't want the dick. You ain't going to shoot no goddamn body. And the, and the chick, she uh, joined in the conversation. She said, uh, say, that's my man. You can't be talking to him like that. Lion Willie went off on her ass. He said, Shut up, you crack smoking motherfucker. He said, man, you was talking about you had holes and shit. He said, this is the kind of hole you got. He said, this old ass woman couldn't even sell no pussy at the old folks home. Boy, I died laughing. I was trying to hold that shit in. I died laughing. She started saying, you don't call me no hoe, because I'm a good Christian woman. He said, you was a crack smoking ass bitch. That's what you is. He said, now, where's that lack? And that Lincoln you was talking about you driving, your ass riding that train, you ain't got no Lincoln, no shit. You ain't got shit, you lying, fake-ass fucking dude. So, boy, he want to get out of money that conversation. He said, man, y'all want to burn something? I got these ports. I got these new ports. And he was, man, we don't need a motherfucking thing from you. We don't need shit from you, man. He said, well, man, I got to go, man. We, we got to go hit a lick, man. North Dallas, man. Well, I see y'all around, man. He heard her up and scurred his ass off. Him and his old ugly, squinch eyed ass fucking old lady. But that's the first time I ever seen Lion Willie go off on somebody like that. Normally he just shoot the shit with her. That's my crackhead update. Y'all know what it is. Get your shanks out. And let's get ready to ride. <coughs> yeah, I want to. Speak on the guys who have the herd mentality, always trying to join a, a, a gang, always got to join something, always got to be in group therapy. Ain't nothing therapeutic about being in no gang, not a damn thing. Where, ask one of them old guys where his residual income is. Only thing he got res, residual is reporting to a parole officer. That's his residual right there. They ain't got nothing to show for none of that bullshit. Be talking about, yeah, on my block, like you own something on that damn block. You're living in the damn zip code. You don't own a motherfucking thing. You just live there. But you claiming other people's shit. Man, that, that's totally idiotic to me. I don't, you know, I don't see no good come out of the bullshit. It's a cow's paradise. You scary motherfucker, I, well, I guess you need to join some goddamn body. If you a man can stand on your own two feet, you don't need no cocksucking game. Ask him where it was. Show, show something you done gained out of it. 
Not a motherfucking thing. You see some old stupid motherfucker around here trying to fly a flag. You old dumb son of a bitch. You better sit your stupid ass down some goddamn where. You dumb ass. Instead of portraying that bullshit to them youngsters, and they're already fucked up with they like a uh, low IQ ass. They think that shit is cool. Don't know they ain't got nothing but a prison cell or a morgue waiting on them. That's it. Do a lot of prison time or some of them die young. They ain't gonna never get to be no old ass man. Uh, yeah, I had some subscribers tell me about making videos longer. I get the analytics from, from every video. My last video was 20 minutes and 10 seconds long. The average view duration was 12 minutes and, six, and uh, 43 seconds. Now why in the hell I need to make a long ass video when it's not being viewed? That's a waste of my fucking energy. That's why I try to stay around the 15 minute uh, uh, 15 minute mark. You got to hold a person's attention. Most people ain't got time to sit and watch no long ass video. Like me, I go uh, to watch later. When I'm sitting around ain't got nothing to do, I watch it. A lot of people that I'm subscribed to, even if I don't watch their video, I click on there and give them a like and I keep it moving. Sometimes I never look at the content. Uh, I might be sitting around bored and I got it on my watch later list, I go back and check it out. Yeah, and on dislikes, that don't hurt you on YouTube. You can have 200 dislikes. All that show is a traffic to your channel. So a uh, stupid son of a bitch can dislike all he want. It don't hurt me one bit. All that show is traffic to the channel. You don't know shit about YouTube. They don't give a shit about dislikes. Uh, I'm going to go uh, to a Ramsey unit and... Uh, had this guy come in on a Friday, coming out the county jail. He ain't had no wine, so he brought commissary with him. So he brought some wine. He's sitting there drinking, smoking him a cigarette, and that wine loosened up his fucking mouth. He's sitting there talking all kind of shit. Guy, couple of his homeboys, he was out of Houston. A couple of guys was telling him, hey, man, you don't do that here, man. Better watch what you say, man. The walls here got ears, man. You better watch what you... They trying to give him a warning, man. It's a couple inmate guards. A building to them standing right there. They can hear every damn thing you're saying. They ain't really listening in, but they can hear him talking because he's talking loud as hell. So he started talking about, yeah, man, that motherfucking cat. When he said cat, I looked at the building to them. Their ears perked up. You can tell that drew their attention. He said, man, uh, motherfucker, I don't know why motherfucker scared a cat. I slapped that motherfucker my goddamn self. Motherfucker think I won't slap cat. So dudes who were sitting there talking to him, they got their ass up and moved around. They don't want to be no, they already know you don't do no shit like that at Ramsey. So one of the inmate guards or uh, building tunnels walked out, sneaked down there and told cat. Cat come back down, they unlocked the door, turnkey unlocked the door, let cat in. So one building tunnel said, say cat, this the guy right here was talking about he slapped you. Cat looked at him, he says, motherfucker, you just left my damn office, scared to death, talking about you don't think you can make it over here. He says, now you, he says, get up. He says, shit, I ain't getting up, man. Somebody get hurt, you think I'm going to get up? I ain't no damn fool, man. I better not get my ass up. He said, you say you, you slapped me, get up and slap me. He said, I'll beat the goddamn hell out of you. What Cat was doing, he wasn't going to hit him. He set him up. When Cat leave, the inmates got it. You done talked all this gangster shit, and they see you a straight up coward. It's a wrap for you. So uh, Cat said, you better learn how to keep my name out your mouth. He said, I don't know what prison you've been at before, but at this one, you don't run your damn mouth. He said, if you capable of doing all that shit, now's the time to do it. He said, no other, ain't nobody going to get involved. It'll just be me and you. No, I want no shit. I don't want to fuck with you like that, man. I bet not fuck with you like that, man. He said, man, I was just drinking, man, and I got a little drunk. Man, I think that was, at that other person I was at, the ward slapped me. That's what I really said. The ward slapped me. He said, no, that ain't what you said. He said, these guys ain't going to just come dry ass lie on you. You said that. He said, now is your chance to slap the ward. 
No, nah, well, nah, I ain't gonna slap you, man. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna fuck with you like that, man. I, I apologize like a motherfucker, man. I don't, I don't even mean to say that. This wine uh, fucked me up, man. I ain't had no wine in a minute. He said, well, you need to stop drinking. So Cat walked away. Right when he did that, one of the building tellers walked over there, like they normally do, slapped the hell out of him. See, say, before the sun go down, find you a man. You can't even live over here. You're going to have to find you a man. Use a hoe. So he see Mr. Farb sitting there. Big ass fucking dude, Mr. Farb, a big son of a bitch. He is a big ass fucking dude. So he's trying to look for a friendly face. None of them Houston guys, they don't want to have nothing to do with that. They don't want to get on Cat's bad side. So uh, he called Mr. Farb. He said, say, sir, can I talk to you? Mr. Farb said, yeah, what, what's on your mind? He said, man, they told me I got to get me a man. He said, well, you can solve that. He said, you can get you a knife, and the motherfucker who slapped you and told you to get you a man, go kill his ass. He said, cat ain't going to do nothing to you. He said, you just go kill him. And that'll stop everything right there. He said, kill his ass. He said, you got two choices. You can kill him. Either going to be some blood on, his, on, on your knife, or it's going to be some shit on somebody's dick. You, you pick which one you want. He didn't want to hear what Mr. Fogg got to say. So he got his ass up, moved around. Uh, next morning, I see him at breakfast. That motherfucker walking bow legged like a motherfucker. They didn't got him. They didn't got him. The next weekend, he on the whole scroll trying to suck dicks for, for true blue cookies. But it was bad. You ever notice in a lot of my videos, I always speak, these guys get their ass in this trap. They damn self. Nobody is not fucking with them at all. They do that trying to impress other people and get in the shit backfire. Now, people ask me about uh, Bear and John Armstrong. Cat uh, told the uh, inmate guard, certain inmates, not to fuck with. Period. Don't fuck with him. So they wasn't going to fuck with John Armstrong no way. He, he even beat some of the building tunnels up. They don't do shit to him. Cat done told old guy, you better not fuck with him. So he ain't never had no problem out of, out of none of them. When they get in the boxing ring with him, he just beat the hell out of Because most of them were some big ass dudes. And uh, I had somebody in the comments section once say, I don't believe that one man can whoop uh, everybody at a 1600 man prison. You crazy as hell. I ain't seen no motherfucker there can fuck with this man. And you can fight any damn time you want to. They got boxing gloves or you can fight with fists. Anytime you choose to. So if you had this hell of a fighting game, here's a man who loved to fight. He got to pay some of them big ass dudes just to spar with him. He got to pay the motherfucker. So they know they're going to get the hell beat out of him. Just sparred. He had a motherfucker. I see him be chest punching. He, this man hit so goddamn hard, he be hitting dudes way. 230 and 240 hitting, knocking them down, hitting them in the damn chest. Now, just think if he hitting your head, what it's going to be like. That same way with Mike Tyson when he was in prison. I guarantee you what nobody at that whole damn prison can whoop Mike Tyson. Guarantee you that. Back then, if you wanted to fight, wasn't no disciplinary for fight. Fight any goddamn time you want to. Anybody off another cell block, off another dormitory, you can fight them. All you got to do is go to the building and say, I want to fight this guy right here off a of so-and-so cell block. They'll make it happen. Either you fight him in your house or you go to his house. Either way, they didn't, have, they didn't allow no arguing at all. It was all about fight. And they fought every motherfucking day. Every day we go in the field, you're going to see a fight every day. I don't give a damn what kind of work we doing. You gonna see a fight every day. So if you had this hell of a boxing game, you must have been scared of the motherfucker. Get out there and show them guys you can fight. All you had to do is issue a challenge. There's so many dudes that can box. Your challenge was gonna be accepted. I guarantee you that. Well, I got I got to run a couple errors. I got a car. I got to go test drive. I got to go way out on Lemons Avenue to test drive this motherfucking car. Y'all keep your shanks ready. They got their crazy checks last night. They got them early this morning. It's going to be on and popping around this motherfucker. They got them checks. Crazy checks is on dock. They, 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 uh, they're on deck. Y'all stay ready to ride on these clowns. Uh, support me over on Patreon. Like and subscribe.
and I thank you for watching.